What's up, YouTube? Cod4Man221 here, and welcome back to another Coming Fears to Online replay for Season 5. In this one, we are playing as the United States with Nick, Lipton, and Max. We got all three of them together for this match. Here we're playing on Lazarus Ambush. And the commander I've gone with is the Heavy Cavalry Company, and the Boltons I'm using are basically allowing my rifleman to reload faster, and we also give us a little bit more. Um, they can come in faster, they can reinforce faster, most of the purging. Tiger Grass, by the way, is an excellent bolt, and if you have it, I'd recommend, um, if you get a duplicate or something, try to sell it so you can actually get this. This is a great bolt in here. Um, it gives you 4% increased armor penetration on a lot of tanks. It makes it a lot more deadlier. And I'm going to be fighting on this side, and we're going to be fighting with Lipton, and I'm going against Hazard. And also against... This guy looks German here. Mind in Korea? And the uh, Lipton is going to be on the right side with me, and Max and Lipton are up top. Max is a British. Nick is the Russians. What else is <laughs> what else is new? Uh, Nick is very very good with the Russians, I think. And Max has played the the British a lot. I like to play around between different factions. I've played as all the factions, the videos on all of them. So I think right now I'm enjoying the British a lot, but I'm kind of I figured out how to play the U.S. again. <laughs> But of course, it's, if I figure out how to play as the U.S. again, where you, you know, I used to just go, okay, get the lieutenant, and then you skip to the major. Now you have to basically get the lieutenant and then the captain to counter early armor, and then go to the major, which delays you a lot. Um, but now we're even going to get the captain no longer has bazookas automatically, so that's going to be a new change coming up on the 21st of June here. And um, you also get mortars, so that should be. I'm pretty excited the U.S. actually has mortars. I think it's been. A long time. Anyway, I'm gonna switch around. My opponent does have support um, units out. No grenadiers, surprisingly, and that seems to backfire. He does, does have some coming up. My guys are gonna get wiped out here. You know, I'm gonna outflank the machine gun here. Lipton's gonna be shooting suppressed here. I'm just gonna push right in. Right, just close the distance. I am ignoring the storm pioneers here. And if we had a grenade, they would have been pretty screwed. So they gave us. Here's the biggest thing for our opponents. They just gave me an MG40. Actually, Lipton's gonna take it. They gave us an MG42. Okay, the middle is unopposed here. It looks like Nick was sniping away or his units managed to kill two Storm Pioneers. And big chance of the Storm Pioneers, they're actually gonna be able to get Panzer Shrucks now. I think that's interesting. And then, thank you. Okay, I, to, I don't wanna go all about the passwords. Maybe, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But thank you for getting rid of you know, the amount of damage AT weapons do to non, you know, to infantry. Because, like, you'd have a bunch of panic tracks that just destroy units um, before. At least now they're going to be as accurate and it won't damage infantry as much. Next sniper is getting outflanked. He has to be careful with them. Now let's go back over to this side. They keep sending units in the trench. We can, we can fight them pretty efficiently. We also, I have more units up here. Lipton retreated his MG, I think, to reinforce it. Lipton's gonna grab a ambulance, which he has out right now, and that's gonna help reinforce the units at the front line. Let's go look at the left side here. British units and Russian snipers taking down the the Volksgrens here. Who won't be? They'll actually get STG 44 packages coming up. We have a lieutenant reporting in for duty. So they're kind of mortar spanning us. Look at this, three mortars. Very early on for that. We're not heavily entrenched or anything, so we can just get around these mortars if we're lucky. And I have my unit back here waiting to get reinforced. This is not a good setup for an MG. You want it behind some kind of cover, and it can be easy outflanked from the left or the right. You want to give this... The MG42 is a very decent arc of fire here, because it's much larger than the Maxim, or especially the... Uh, yeah, the maximum is a small arc of fire, I think. You want to make sure that arc of fire can kind of cover the directions it can hit. Now, it can still get deep out flight, but you want to make sure it can actually 
help cover that. Now we lost some soldiers in the trench here. Lipton has in his machine gun setup. One of the nice things about this doctrine, or the uh, yeah, the doctrine I have here, is it gives us passive rifleman defense structures. Actually, it's really our commander. Um, so this commander basically gives us. So I'm just going. To, maybe, maybe I'm thinking of it. Right so this will allow me to get a nice machine gun position that will face this area. I made sure. So they can't really outflank unless they come from over here. I'll make sure to cover that. So our opponents are starting to take the trench over here. And we're going to move forward. I am about to get grenades, I think. Nope, I must be getting a cap. Yes, I am getting a cap. I'm looking to getting a mage, so we're working together here. And these grenadiers will, will shred us. Look at that. Almost killed that MG. If we're, if we're not careful. Once again, you just close the distance with these mortars, and they're screwed. Three mortars, and it's five minutes in. That's a little excessive here. A lot of wasted man manpower man there, if you ask me. So, Nixon House over here has got two sniper squads out. Even pop snipers in the building, which is not really a good idea most of the time because the enemy can throw a grenade in. See, the sniper teams are working together. You know, the United States needs a sniper, so if they're listening, that'd be nice to give us a sniper. So I actually have a lieutenant and a captain out, actually. <laughs> I guess I have both out, so uh, that's how you gotta play the US for the next couple days here until the patch comes out, and then we'll get the major here. And I'm gonna set my major over the ambulances over here. I'm also grabbing a pack howitzer. This is actually very effective against infantry and mortars. Okay, we are controlling the, the left side. Next snipers, let's look at them. 10 kills and 3 kills. So 13 enemies killed already in 6 minutes here. They have a very target rich environment, and Nick's doing a good job with them, so. And Max is doing a good job of putting infantry in front of them to kind of screen. Highly recommend getting the medical supplies here. And this is when someone quit. That was. Huh, this guy quit early on. I didn't realize that. This guy decides to quit at 7 minutes. This is the player in pink here. Okay, W Storm Tiger gun. So that was the guy against Nick. Because we're fighting the purple player and the orange player. And we basically locked down this position. I have sandbags. Something's going to shift towards the center. Remember, battle plans changed. The battle plan originally was that I was going to take the right side, Lipton and Nick and, and Max would take the left side. So now we're kind of changing up the battle plan. Where I'm just going to be holding this point here and I'm just going to push toward the center. And he's going to find some Grenadiers here. Grenadiers, very good units with MG42s. Kind of recommend that up here, but Lipton has grenades. And look at the, the three mortars right here. He's got to spread out here. And even have a mortar half track. They really love mortars on our side. I mean, they're taking this pointer. They do have mines, minesweepers. Lipton managed to hit that with a anti tank rifle grenade, and he has his captain here. And that's 40 fuel down the drain early on, eight minutes in. That is not good. There's a computer over here. I find that a lot of people quit COH too. You know, I I don't think I've ever I've rage quit before. I think very rarely. We often usually see. I usually only play with a team, and you you know these guys, Max, look, Max, Lipton, and Nick. So I usually play with people I know. That's gonna have a good team dynamic. But yeah, it can be a struggle trying to play with random people on this game. Um, because they, you know, there's no kind of loyalty there a little bit. So, like, for instance, that guy who quit the pink player here, Evil, like, he doesn't probably know these guys. These are probably some guys that are just, maybe two of them are playing together or something. It's empty for two suppressing all my units. So he doesn't necessarily feel bad for quitting. I mean, he gets frustrated. I mean, you know, I'm not really a big fan of penalties. Like, if you leave the game early, like, you, get, you can't play for an hour or something, but... I think Company Brewers is a good community. I think we need to make it so people that just keep quitting, there should be some kind of penalty or something. Not just you don't get your match bonus. Like you, you shouldn't be allowed to play for like 30 minutes. Now the question is though, you know, there's always the outlying thing though. 
where, where you would say, okay, well, what if you had to go for dinner and you had to leave the game and they want the, you know, you want the AI to take over or something? I don't know. There's always whatever situation of anything you're going to try to do in life, any kind of policy is going to be trying to be implemented or rule. It's always going to, someone's also always going to get like, there's going to be that kind of situation where it kind of sucks for that person. I don't know. I know Lipton has airborne troops. These guys are actually pretty cool. I haven't used these guys in a while. They have the, the screaming eagles insignia there. And I'm going to start upgrading my guys with bars, which we do have unlocked. I'm going to take this point back. There's no need to give our opponents three more fuel and five munitions a minute. And Moose, Lucas, and Foose. That could really pay off. Look at Nick's snipers and their sniper team. A little close together, and they're going to... Ah, oh, look at that. Almost wiped this out completely, but... Oh, that was a great hit there. 12 kills and 20. Nick is doing very well. 32 kills on those snipers in 10 minutes. I'm very impressed. I'm never that good at micro units. Okay, my howitzer is protected by our fighting position here. And I know his, his MG is over because it shot at me, so I'm going to bombard this position, but probably not hit anything, unfortunately. So the big, I think the coup de gras, how we'll actually be able to win this game is by overwhelming the center position where all these mortars are. Until we do that, we're going to be in trouble. And they have three mortars, AT, anti-tank around here. It is... It is not good. You can see that. Wow, look at that. Lipton is actually bar boring off the cover here. That's very smart. Okay, those units are falling back. They're getting outflanked here, but the British units have Brens. Yeah, you know, it's critical to give your units the light machine guns, because no matter where assault rifles. SMGs. You gotta give your unit something, because look at the Bren. Look at the, um... This gives my units a lot more firepower. I give them two bars. I'm calling it a bar. It's, it's a B-A-R. Someone got on me about that one time. I mean, I... I just called it a bar, but it's really a Browning Automatic Rifle, or a B-A-R. B-A-Rs. So yeah, we're basically just... We're holding out over here quite nicely. The opponents haven't pressured us really. And what more can we do? We basically have, you know, we have the territory right outside their base here. And the only other territory is like over here. And I've got a Sherman now, and oh, this is such a sweet target for my artillery here. Oh my, my pack cow. It's there three mortars blobbed up like this right on top of each other. I've never seen all these mortar crews like right on top of each other like that. They're gonna try to destroy my. I'm gonna counter barrage here. And I missed. They almost. They did wipe out my, my head force. So I, I was trying to throw a grenade and I saw that a little late. And yeah, this guy's shredding me in the negative cover here. I gotta fall back. They called us pig dogs. Swine window. Interesting. So we are behind cover here, and I have my Sherman out, but I know they have AT around here. I'm not an idiot. So Lipton and I are kind of doing the one-two. So that AT hit me there. So this is the uh, a big flank that's going on here. I have infantry units pushing in, but we're getting suppressed by this gun here. That just guy just got wiped out. They have a bunker facing this way to cover us from attacking there. And I really wish I had had grenades at this point. I'm going to try to run in front of the machine gun here. And try to kill the AT. I'm at least going to push the AT out of position. This house is heavily damaged. If I can collapse, that will kill the machine gun. Crypt. Be very careful, though. And can you believe this house is still standing? It's got so little health. I didn't manage to wipe out that, that AT gun. No, I just need to keep my Sherman alive. And I think we just you know, lifted that had grenade there. But, the house that collapsed on the machine gun crew has been wiped out. So that was, that was, that was pretty good. And now Lipsis versus Sermuna, we kind of give I went in for the first wave, Lipsis in the second wave here. Here's paratroopers, the Thompson, 90, 90 munitions, and he gonna, he's, oh, yep, he's gonna fall back. 
This is our next target, this bunker. I'm getting a second Sherman. I'm just going to try to beat these guys out early. I'm not going to try to let them get any kind of armor. Max is laying down some mines over here. And Nick has a T-70. And T-34. So our opponents are trying to use this area here as kind of their base of operations. They don't have any victory points right now, which is why we're being them pretty poor. They're pretty badly right now. They're going to be in... It looks like the Panzer IV got knocked out. The reason it looks like that is because the OKW can salvage it. And that's pretty far forward for uh, Stigus Sufus here. It looks like he's bombarding the positions around here. I'm uh, repairing my, my Sherman here. This is a Panzer IV is going to pop on in here. They're going to try to kill Lipton's head. Lipton's uh, fighting position here, so I'm going to hop in. That's actually going after my tank. Whenever you see a tank or threat to your crewman, you always. You should definitely always hop back in your tank there. You don't need to let the enemy steal it. And I want to destroy this, but I do have to be careful. Am I willing to lose my tank here? But sometimes, it's worth it to risk it. In this case, looks like he's going to get away. But I'm at least going to try to take out this bunker here. And my gunner on top is going to be targeting these mortar crews here. So bunker is destroyed and one mortar wiped out. I got engine damage here. My Sherman is in real trouble here. I think that my Rangers help support me throwing grenades. But my Rangers stand no chance against this amount of units right here. They will get shredded by three grenadiers. So yeah, they're manning the AT gun. It's not going good. I'm popping smoke for my, my Sherman with my other Sherman. And if this had smoke, I'd pop it. I can pop white phosphorus. And I'm going to get very lucky. I'm going to throw my captain in front just to try to absorb some. Just keep my guy alive here. My units are probably up here to help support. And I did manage to get my Sherman out of there. And the enemy is taking heavy, heavy losses. I have the entry here. They, they lost their advantage, which they briefly had. And they're also getting suppressed from something. Then has another funny position over here. And yeah, we got... I got lucky there that I was able to pull all the way from here back to my lines, so... Over. Over. another machine gun. I really needed grenades, so that would have helped out a lot. So we have a... There's just a computer over here. I'm not gonna let one computer leaving seven minutes ruin the whole match, because there was some cool stuff that happened here. Like a panther right there. Threw an anti-tank rifle grenade, and... Didn't do anything to that tank, pretty much. Very little health got taken away. So, we're gonna fall back. I'm almost done repairing my Sherman here. In numbers, the Sherman can do well. Two shoots over here from Nick. Now, I don't want to just run into a panther here. I know they have an AT sitting back here, so... I'm not grabbing my own ambulance. Lipton uh, pulled back from here. He moved his ambulance over for some reason. More toward the center here for his units. And I didn't realize that's it. I'm getting my own ambulance. So my units are not reinforcing, basically. So I don't really usually make a bunch of Shermans, but in numbers, they're quite good. What's nice is they have they have a radio net when they get veterans, so they can actually shoot faster. So I'm gonna... I already learned my lesson last time with the with the whole with the whole issue of the uh, oh I just got my engine damage. So I'm gonna make sure this one's okay here. And I'm not sure if he should just move up in this situation. I just want to lose his panther. So I'm gonna get my guys back and repair. We have the ambulance out, which is coming up to the front lines. It's right here. On this side, it really has not been too much of a challenge for Nick. Let's see if he still has his snipers around. That he does. His snipers have 46 kills. Nick is doing quite well. And they're dropping some, the bridge dropping some guy of artillery here in Maxis. He probably knows it spreads pretty far, so I might actually take this out. This is the smoke is here and it went all the way over here. Yeah, Puma, we rarely see this in this game, but a Puma is not gonna 
do too well. Look at Nick's T-34 running over trees. Yeah, the center's pretty good. Now that, you, now that they have a Panzer Warfare, they have no... They actually hurt my guy, so I, can, I need to reinforce here. That's how I saw him. I should have probably hopped in there. But I knew it was aimed around here where my artillery was. So all my units are healed up and full strength. They're ready to make a push. Unfortunately, we lost the bazooka there. The captain in the update will only have one bazooka. Look at those 18 units set up here. I don't think he was expecting this. Just gonna try to blitz out of here. And nope. I know there's kind of a little bit of a blob here. I have a lot of infantry units over here. So my plan is I'm going to try to flank around right from here. The bunker has been destroyed. I'm going to try to push in and destroy this headquarters here. Because our opponents are using... Oh, this one I never... I actually... I'll send two units over to take care of these guys. They're using... You know the computer... Well, the guy put this down before he became a computer. This is allowing them to reinforce units to the front line, which is very, very annoying. And it's right up kind of a base support for my fire points here. I'm gonna pull back these units, I don't want to alert the enemy into my attack. And we didn't even we went completely wiped out that squad. The other one I'm trying to repair here, but they're gonna make a push here. I'm gonna need some kind of infantry up here. Which he has, I guess they're kinda of reinforcing back there. So that attack is gonna fall. They're gonna fall back from that. The storm. Let's just keep in mind this is the player here. The storm tiger looks like it didn't do a whole lot of damage and almost gets wiped out here, only from a screen of these hand grenadiers. Looks like they're pretty hurt. They're pretty badly hurt over here though. They have a lot of yeah. The loot bomb is making their presence known here. But Nick also has the. Red Air Force? That's what it's called. He has the uh, Soviet Air Force, so he's all, also making a difference here. They have a Luke now. That's evil, the computer. They like to make light. I don't get They like to make light vehicles. We have another Panther over here in the center. Rockets are going down. They actually missed the loose completely here. So the Grand are going to be forced back here. I'm kind of skirmishing a little bit in the woods. I don't want them to know where my main attack is coming from. So I'm going to have four infantry squads flank coming from this area and this area, which is going to overwhelm the AT. And I'll also have my armor with us. Look, he's even gonna move. I'm an idiot. That guy says made in Korea. I called him mine in Korea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm probably gonna shout that in the comments after watching for one minute. It's made in Korea. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, we're gonna push forward from multiple directions. These guys are gonna cut off their AT gun here. And look at this. Boom, that gets wiped out here. Units are moving in. The Panther. I'm asking Lipton for some support. He's repairing. I'm going after the Panther. That other one's heavily damaged. I'm at least going to take that even if I lose a Sherman. So we, we definitely need help. This one, Hazard, quits. I think that was the guy in purple. So I did lose that, but I killed that Panther. And... Someone's Air Force, Lipton's Air Force, the U.S. Air Force decided to help us out there. Lower, they would have been nicer. But he was repairing his tank back there, I guess. And that's when I decided to surrender. So, good game to our opponents. I just had the Pershing out, too. Great tank right here. Anyway, let's give you guys the stats here. It took a lot of couches. We, we killed more than we lost. Lipton was negative. Nick was pretty positive. 86 and 25. What's the final count on his snipers over here? 27 kills and 20 so 47 kills from Nick on his snipers. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. See you guys in the next one. Cod for my 221 Sonny.